It's when a, should you keep keep it? Never. Never. Never, <laughs> never keep it. Never do that. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, Sean Bloomquist, Pine Financial Group, where we work together so you succeed. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit that notification bell so you're keeping up to date on all these videos we're releasing. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you on here. And as always, comments would be great so we can interact with you. That's what we're, we're here to do. Today, I've got Kevin Amos with me from Pine Financial Group. We're gonna talk about something that if you've seen a house that was built in the 70s or early 80s, you've seen our good friend wood paneling, and yeah. we're gonna talk about that. So Kev, we've all seen it. We've seen what people have done with it. When would be a good time to replace wood paneling? When to replace wood yeah. paneling. So I'd say almost always, if it's in the budget, <laughs> you should replace wood paneling. Um, but very specifically, I, I think, see, I'm curious what you think about this, but I think you should replace the wood paneling in the properties if it's in a middle to higher, definitely middle to higher price yeah, point. I would agree. Definitely want to do that. If the comparables in the area have it replaced already, that would be another time. Mm -hmm. And one other one I think is so simple. If they put paneling over drywall instead of just to the stud, I think you take that down and replace it because the drywall's already there. It's easy to patch up, clean up, paint yeah. it. So it doesn't cost very much. And then it just, it's a cleaner, more modern look. Well, and another part of replacing it is the type of wood paneling. There's different types. There's the four by eight sheets of real thin, crappy looking dark wood paneling that we've all seen, or it may be wood paneling almost like tongue and groove. And if that's nicer stuff, yeah. it may or may not make sense. So just to know the different types could influence your decision as well. It's like wallpaper, right? That came back, yeah. that's crazy. That's exactly right, that's exactly right. So that, that's when you wanna replace it, yep. right? So what about just painting it? I see, I see people paint wood paneling all the time. Mm -hmm. So when would we when would we consider doing that? I guess I would think if it's maybe in like a rec room or something like that, not a main room of the house where you're gonna have people consistently in there, you could maybe get by if it's that nicer tongue and groove wood panel and you could paint it, you know, like a gray or something like that to kind of liven it up and, and make it a little more functional for that house. If it's a lower to middle grade property, maybe it makes sense, you could get by with it. Or maybe just the type of property itself. Maybe it's in a rental property, or maybe yeah. it's in a cabin or something like that where wood paneling wouldn't be as out of the norm. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Rental properties, I do see it in rental properties. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a really quick turn or a low budget kind of thing, mm -hmm. maybe you could get away with that in certain properties, but definitely go ahead and look at the comparables in the area. If you're gonna rent it out, maybe look at some comparable rentals. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna flip it, maybe look at some comparable you know, active listings, what's sure. for sale, and just try to match and maybe just be a step higher than your competition. But you might find that painting it is okay. Okay, so we've talked about when to replace it, when to keep it, when to replace it, when to paint it. But when to paint it, yep. So when to- When should you keep it? Keep it. Never. Never. Never, <laughs> never keep it. Never do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I think there's maybe one time when you could keep it. What do you, what do you think, Sean? Maybe I, uh, probably a- Probably a rental property, a lower end rental property you could maybe get away yeah, with okay, it. But okay. I was thinking may, like maybe in a basement that's like not really finished. Oh, that, yeah. But I didn't even is think of finished, that. Yeah. you know, you've seen that's those exactly, before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the homeowner special finish, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe you get away with it. You can maybe get by like with that. it there, but yeah, it's, uh, wood paneling can be a very challenging thing when you're, especially when you're flipping properties. Take into account all the determining factors to whether or not you should even keep it or paint it or get rid of it. Yeah, we joke, should we ever keep it? It's kind of serious, like don't keep it. Don't keep it, it's disgusting. So right. <laughs> check us out, <laughs> pinefinancialgroup.com.